So one of the fundamental questions that people ask is where did all the various elements that go to make up our solar system actually come from in the first place? Well, a slightly simple answer is they all come from the remains of an exploding giant star as it died. It does bring us to the first of the curious points about this issue. The universe is, say, just under 14 billion years old, and our Sun and the related solar system about 4.6 billion years old, and possibly has several billions of years of more life left in it. How is it possible that a star many times the size of our Sun died out, scattered its remains over a large distance, and all those remains were pulled together to form a new star and orbiting planets. Surely there isn't actually enough time for that all to actually happen. The solution is that different stars actually use up the fuel within them at different rates. The larger the star is, the greater its mass, the hotter it burns, the denser the materials within it are packed, so the faster the nuclear reaction within the star and the shorter its lifespan. The reaction process in stars follows a fairly similar pattern. The hydrogen atoms are fused together to make helium. Helium is then converted into carbon and oxygen. These are in turn are fused to form neon, sodium, magnesium, sulfur and silicon. Eventually reactions take place only in the very largest of stars which can produce calcium, iron, nickel, chromium and the other heavier elements. This fusion process is called nucleosynthesis. When a star is no longer producing the, these nuclear fission reactions, it cools down. As it cools, it undergoes gravitational collapse. The forces that are pushing out diminish. However, when this collapse goes too far, the expansive forces then take over, and the star goes supernova, exploding and scattering most of its contents over nearby area of space, allowing new stars and planets to be formed from the remains of a dying star. Without a large star creating these elementary remains, all our planets would just be gas giants with no rocky surfaces, there would be no life as we know it.